Hi, I'm Melissa Ryerson with the Franklin Insider, and we are here at the city's brand new brine making facility to help keep you safe during the snow and icy conditions. Donald Terry with the Streets Department helped put this all together. He's here to tell us why we need brine instead of just salt. Why, Terry? Why? Well, Melissa, we use brine as a pretreatment. Um, like I say, per each snow or ice event, the advantage of using brine is the roads are already pretreated before the, the event actually happens. Um, uh, like, like I say, you get uh, twice the coverage for half the money. And half the staff time too. Well, oh, yeah. you're out there treating ahead of time, but you have to treat maybe a little bit less with the salt if the brine's working, right? Definitely. It cuts back on the salt usage. All right. Well, there's a whole science behind this. Let's go check it out. All the gizmos and gadgets in there to make this brine work. This, this is where all the, uh, the good stuff takes place. Yeah, it looks like a lot of tubes and a lot of computers and a lot of fun knobs to turn. And if you were a kid, this would be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, this, this system right here is the Ecubrian, it's the ABS2, and what it actually does, it monitors the pH of every gallon of brine we, that we make and run through the system. Okay, so it has to be a certain pH level to be effective. Oh yes, and two, it assures us that every gallon we put on a city street is properly mixed. And this is really neat because the trucks just drive right up and fill up with the brine right from this little hose here. Oh yeah, each and every truck will have a unique swipe card system assigned to the truck for tracking purposes just to make it more efficient. All right, Donald, that's the Streets Department saving your tax dollars and keeping you safe on the roads in stormy conditions. That's it for the Franklin Insider. We'll see you next time.